Hello you all, and now we are about to uh, find out just what is about to happen now that the uh, village, town, whatever, has just been uh, pretty much destroyed. Unicorn. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gaia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gaia invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Ghirlandio and other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. So, mechs? Or Gundams? Mobile suit Gundams, wasn't it? Brawl's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital was a steady flow of refugees. Oh, if that isn't just cheerful news. Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle where it was. And within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gally's princess. Unicorn spire? Seriously? Is this actually unicorn land? Supporting Gally's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. Okay, well that explains why she was had such good training, having only moved the area so from Baker. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Layers, binoculars, compass, and another map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or not bad. One or the other, both the same really, aren't they? Welcome? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. It's open? You were getting changed, weren't you? Oh, you already changed too. Let's see. Oh, I don't know if it's with the arms on that thing. Is that armour or... Just padded with lots of grenades and donuts? Or something. Not bad, Breaking. not bad. You look good, actually. Thank you? So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. You wear it like a pro? Interesting phrase. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Is that a good thing? Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. Well, I mean, the puffy arms. I can see why you think that. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. Go be a box. Colio, what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Uh, uh. 
No, don't know enough puns to try and get a bug pun in there for you. Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> okay, that's clearly going to outclass any pun that I didn't put there. Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very welcome sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Scarf? Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Oh. Oh, that thing. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. <laughs> I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Sounds like a day. Careful. Yeah, so it's been added. Wow, got through a lot of those cutscenes. Yep, go for it. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther. Reporting for duty. Ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melkiot. Also reporting for duty. Can you I'm Captain Eleanor Barat, Commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. Fast promotions. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Valdio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randgris. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. Okay. Alright, research and development. That's going to be upgrading things. Training field, improved combat ability. Command room, choose members of the squad who will be in the fight. Uh, squad boats, change equipment or view info on members of squad 7. Sure, let's go for that. I don't know if there's a limited amount of these that we can do for continuing or what, but still. Uh, right, so... Welkin is just tank commander, that's always <laughs> all he's going to be now, is it? Uh, oh, otherwise he has standard guns, standard grenades, healing, and combat suits for defense. Likes Alicia, Juno, and Audrey. Okay. Well, two of those aren't on our list yet of squad. Alicia. Likes Welkin. Moss. Much. No idea how you say that. And Dallas. Again, two that aren't on our things yet. Again, same gun, grenade. Oh, nice, we've got one of the uh, shock troopers for 
lots of rapid fire. And if a Magnum 1 grenade like Slargo and Cherry. Hurrah! We actually have one of those on our list currently. Largo likes Rosie, Hans, and Jan. Oh, at least one person likes our team. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, but anyway. And he's a Lancer, so what is that? Rockets? Oh, I see, you can actually switch what equipment they're carrying. Oh, hello. They each have certain things. Uh, being around nature makes his heart sore, bringing about a boost in his abilities and heart. Unshaken even when surrounded by foes, he remains calmly in command and enjoying a boost in his powers. Oh. What about her? Country bread. Standing on bare dirt leads to a boost in concentration, raising accuracy. Okay. When any of her close friends are nearby, the desire to protect them drives all of her abilities up. Okay, so keep her next to Welkin all the time. Apparently. Desert allergy, an allergy to desert and sand leads to a steady drain of HP while inside the area. Okay, not good. Strong willed. Plowing through oncoming fire by sheer force of will, she takes less than damage from interception fire. Nice. Big sister, she can't just abandon her fellow shock troopers. If any are nearby, her abilities are enhanced. Okay. Child of nature, paved roads still strange and cold, leading to discomfort and lowered defense. Well, that's nice. Loyal teammate. When surrounded by enemies, their allies, he feels the drive and energy to work m much harder, enjoying a boost from abilities. Big hard of his insurmountable spirit is enough to call him back from death, reviving him after his HP reaches zero. Okay. So what? He dies once and he's good still? Interesting. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. Okay. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Gotcha. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. Yes, yes. That would be good. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Oh, okay, so that's a picture of goggles. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. Right, they aren't shot. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. Uh -huh. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. Right. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. <laughs> 
After them, we have lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Then anti-tank units, doing the anti-tank units. Then, yeah. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Ooh. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. So... Medics of Mechanics and Flesh. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. I like the sound of them. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. They have zoom. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. Uh-huh. Right. Right, like... Notch and Dallas. Largo and Cherry. Notch, Dallas, Cherry, Hans and Jan. Which will probably be the first ones we look for. Cherry, Scout, sure, you can go. I'm Cherry Steinen, like with a J. It's silent, but, um, I'm not. Um, okay. Dallas. Oh, Dallas. I'm going to sort the other one there. Dallas. Yeah. Dallas. Fancies women. Okay, though. Man hater. Hmm. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Snipers. Well, they're the only two that we have at the moment, and I'm definitely getting them both. Marina Wolfstem, at your command. Hey, I'm Oscar Baylor. Thanks for taking me on board. Sure. Right. That's uh, right. So, what are the names again? Dallas we got. Nos. We need to try and find. Right, we got hers. Hans and Jan. Right. Seeing a Hans or Jan in that list. Right, fair enough. Uh, 
let's get some right, I've got two scouts I should probably get some more of these Yeah, she sounds really good. Desert allergy, panicky and lonely. I think I might pass on her for a moment. Oh, neither country bread. I like Dallas, okay. I'm sure we can work with that. I'm Edie Nelson. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm sure we'll get along swimmingly. Well, aren't you, Perky? Metal head shut in? Sure, go for it. I'm Wendy Cheslock. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> You're staying. You're staying. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, Vice. Micah. Salinas. Kevin, Alex, Ica, Freesia. All right, that's one to start now. Uh, how we got? Free shop troopers. Two of those. I right, we need one more of those. Yeah, one, one of each of those first. <laughs> Ooh, darks and darks and bond. Interesting. Like Zaka and Wavy. Metalhead, fatalist. That. Sounds good. Sure. Neat freak, frail body and lonely. Those don't sound like great things. Metalhead and lonely. Why the does the one with frail body have more HP than the others? Um. Hmm. 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 Sure, because you seem to have the least, I don't know, things that could screw you over? Hello sir, my name is Nadine. I'm sure I'll be coming to you for help. Right, let's see, we've got Yoko, Rosina, Hector, ah. okay, one is Darks and Hater? No, you ain't coming with us. Hector, Metal Allergy. Seriously? A ball leader. Oh, oh, oh. Walter with the glasses. Night Vision, okay. First Minister of Bread, Night Vision. Darks and Hater and Nightblind, no, you ain't coming with us. Uh, City Kid, Lone Wolf, Camp Defender. Mm. Well, I like that pose now, so. No. Maybe. No, wait, it was him, wasn't it? Mr. Glasses. The name's Walter Nash, buddy. Pleasure to be working with you. I was not expecting that voice. Right then, let's get some scouts, shall we? Trooper Killer and Chatty Cathy, interesting. 
fancies women, fancies men, metal allergy. Hmm? Likes Melville, Nancy and Cherry. I mean, if we got those two, then that's a good thing. Uh, neat free comes fast and darks and bond. And we could just build up a load of darks and then yeah. Mellow breads. Eichmorphic? Eichmophobic? No idea what that means. Nancy? Sure. Another Chatty Cafe, Desert Bro, Ica. Get back onto that, right. Still got nine left, so how about. five from here, maybe? Hey, Welkster, I'm Melville Young. I'll do my best, man. Okay. Thank you, hello. I'm Ted Usinov, and I've got some great new material for you. New comedian? Uh, are we going to get you because you're a dark? Yeah, darks and bond? We're going to get you, aren't we? I'm Nancy DeFour. It's so good to meet you. Well, aren't you, sweet? Sure, let's get the chatty cafes together. My name's Ramona Litton. Good to be on board, Welkin. Right, shock trooper and get to those in a minute, maybe. Um Right. Okay, so there's currently one, two, three, four scouts to choose between. Ica Freezer mm. Mo Montley and Wavy. Right, we'll get him. Dogs and Bond no. Please call me Wavy. From today onward, we fight together. Good buddy, that sounds a good thing. Hey there, I'm Ika Thompson. I'll try my best. Sound good, Wilkin? Right, that leaves us with how? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one, two, three, four. So if we get the rest of them as these guys... Alright, Jane... Imp Hater, I'm guessing that's the Imperial Hater? Lancer Killer, Child of Nature... Max Hans and Oscar... Uh, do we hate Imperials? I can't remember. Desert RG Panky Lonely, not really top of my choices list. Eye Patch, Born Leader, Child of Nature, Shock. The name's by Single Bard. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. Aye, aye. Oh, that's not an eye patch, that's just a single goggle? Monogle? Sure. Uh right. I feel only allergy. Mm -hmm. Metalhead pessimist. Only likes one person. Uh, 
Must remember lots of care that that's an allergy. Mm. I mean... Maybe, uh... Neat Freak Night Vision Scout Killer. Sounds like good things to me. Vice, Melville and Hector. Uh, I think we've got at least two of those, haven't we? Sure, you can join. Hi, I'm Alex Raymond. I look forward to serving with you, Welkin. Then one more, so... I'll leave us choosing between... Kevin. Who's metalhead and claustrophobic. Sal Salinus Micah, Mika Aisha, no, not Aisha Jane. Right, so I'm currently trying to work out between Jane and who. Jane and Silas. Alright, that's Eddie, Freesia, and Audrey. Well, oh, we've not got Freesia, I know that for a start. Uh, likes Hans and Oscar. Um. Have we got either of those? Well, we couldn't find hands, could we? I mean, Lancer Killer could be a good thing. Same with Imp Impator. Alright, he's got Lancer Killer. So, yeah, we'll go for him. Salinas Milton, at your service. And that's them all filled up. Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. Sure, give me some more snipers. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Gotcha. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. Mm -hmm. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. Excellent. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. Right. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, looks like it. Come to think of it, Valdio's heading up Squad One, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now too. I'd better get a move on. Training field? What's the training field do? Welcome to your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learn. Oh, so we don't like imps, good. I will train that experience into something you can actually use. Level you bums up. But! Don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team, and we got no need for stars. You will train as a class, and level up by class. Scout level two, scout level three. You get it? Yeah, I got it. When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. Sure. You hear me, maggots? 
Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team? Go home now! All right. Now I'll show you lowlifes how this whole thing actually works. It ain't complicated. First you go out there and fight. Then divvy up that experience here. Mm -hmm. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Right. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. Sure. Trade all you want. I've got all day. Right, so I've got 2,350 XP currently. Right. Right, I'm on top my snipers. Leveled up. Uh, shock troopers and scouts, sure. Engineers, yeah, go for it. Fine lancers as well, you can go up. I got no use for tears. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Calm yourself. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. And what level of what level is human, sir? And beat a new potential out of the Lancers. Oh, nice. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the snipers. Excellent. Alright, and snipers it is. And scouts, you can start to learn some as well. You're better than this! Push those limits! Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! I apologize if any of you think this is idiotic, but, um... Scout... Oh, sorry, not scouts. Snipers. Oh, I see. So they've learnt Nest Master. Yeah, they've both learnt Nest Master. That is good. Good to know. Got it? That's how training by class works. Now get out there and rack up some experience. I'm guessing Nest Master means once they're in a tower or somewhere high up like that, where they can have their own little. Watch out, Nest, they gain a bonus. I'm buffing up the snipers first because, goddamn, snipers can be handy. Oh, and there's one more thing to add. Oh? Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. So what we've just saw, yeah. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field. So keep them in mind. Mm -hmm. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. New order? Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic. A real golden oldie. Learn the evade, learn the evade boost. This order raises one ally's evasion skill. Okay. Orders are special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. All that just from me working you sorry bums into the dirt. Mm -hmm. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. Sure. Yeah, as I was saying... Snipers, all the other classes, as you saw, well, as you probably haven't seen, but um, headshots, good. They'll take the enemy down in a few hits. Snipers, 
if they are super powerful enough, can do it with a single hit. And with their ability to zoom in, they've got a very good chance of hitting the head from very far away. R&D, what have we got here? Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? Um, you asking how much you can pay me to be to do me? What? Oh, do for you. Right. Uh, it looks like we have six thousand five hundred fifty of the currency here. Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? What? I knew it, man. I've heard about you. That evacuation at Brule was just wow. Uh, sure. Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter, man, man. Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. Thanks, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out! It's Lieutenant Gunther! He's the man, man! <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. Oh, good. But where are my manners? I'm Kreis Cherny. I'm training here as a mechanic. I'm glad you said that, not me. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. Thank you. So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? I've got a pocket full of cash. We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. Yeah. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself, or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Yeah, that reminds me of another game that I'm currently uh, looking at getting to play at some point. Um, Sadly, I can't remember its name off the top of my head. Off my head, but you get to, the whole game revolves around you basically building your weapons, with the ultimate builds being just a gun absolutely littered in scopes, because for some reason that means you can shoot more times in a turn. Don't ask me how it works. That's just why I found out playing it. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. Okay. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. Right. Oh, about outfitting tanks. Development work on tanks happens in the form of body enhancements, tread and weak point improvements, and attack support. Body enhancements mostly reinforce the gun bow and body armor to improve its base stats. Tanks will automatically be given the best body type you have developed. You decide whether to favour attack or defence, and altering body types gives your tank a different outward appearance. Improvements to the tra treads and weak points and attack support take the form of parts that can be added to tanks to enhance their abilities. Each part has a set size in blocks. Yeah. You decide how to fill the 4x3 block storage capacity in the Aetherweiss. Pick the optional parts to best fit your own personal combat style. Yeah, that's, this is sorry, pretty much the same way as the gun building in the game. Uh, anyway. Let's look at weapons for a minute. And guess what? Sniper rifle. Right, that's its current one. Right, that goes through the different potential things. Accuracy boost. I'll set for you. Sorry, bro. Just not there yet. Oh. 
Fine. Alright. Um, anti tanks. Yeah, we probably should. Yeah, go for it. Maybe I may as well boost up all the basic all weapons. Set for you, bro. It's oh, hell was yes. Here you go, bro. All done. Oh, okay, they have different outfits, don't they? All set for you, bro. It's done. Right, can't upgrade any of that yet, so I guess it's onto the tank. Alright. Body enhancements. Increases its health, frontal armor, spare tread, radiator upgrade. Ooh, that could be good. Sight upgrade, plus five accuracy. And uh, that's not been too much of an issue at the second. First off, let's get that rage age upgraded. All set for you, bro. It's done. Yeah, okay. Interesting blueprint design. Tread HP increase. Rather reinforce my armor or barrel. Whoa, range plus 200. Yeah, yes, all set for you, bro. It's done. Yeah, saying I've not got enough of those now. Uh, have I got this all up all included? Apparently yes. Uh sure. Okay. Well sir, was that helpful? Kind of. We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. You better. Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. Why aren't you like working for the entirety of the army there? Right. Book mode. Yes. Probably save as it's been a while. I say as it decides to start bugging out on me.